Um, <laughs> so here's the first one. And I'm just going to give you the title. There are several parts to this story. So again, please do not go fall off the hinges. Do not fall off the face of the earth on the first two till you, we get all the way through. I mean, you can make some comments on one and you can make some comments on two, but just don't formulate your complete total conclusion until we get to the end. That way, y'all people can stop emailing me telling me you keep changing my mind because you keep telling me there's more to the story. Stop emailing me that. Now I'm telling you, there's several parts. Okay. My girlfriend thinks she's a baby. I'm a 34-year-old man. My wife is 32. My brother is 27, and my brother's girlfriend is 26. My brother's been dating his girlfriend for about a year now. She's a nice girl, but at times, her behavior is odd and erratic. She asked over and over again to babysit for my kids, a 3-year-old girl and a 5-year-old boy. My wife and I have always said no. This weekend, we had a barbecue, and she was acting extremely strangely, only speaking in a baby voice, not talking to any of the adults, and running around with the kids. My wife pulled me aside at one point, extremely upset. She found my brother's girlfriend in our three-year-old's room in her playpen slash ball pit area, sucking her thumb covered in our daughter's blankets with all of her stuffed animals. Yo, what the f***? My wife was completely confused as to what was going on, and when she asked my brother's girlfriend what she was doing, she responded in a baby voice that she was tired and needed nappies. My wife immediately came to get me, and we both confronted my brother to ask him what the hell was going on. My brother got extremely embarrassed. He said that his girlfriend has dissociative identity disorder, and one of her alter egos is a three-year-old girl. My wife and I don't know anything about this disorder, so we didn't really say anything. Just told him to please go get her and keep her out of the kids' room. He went to go get her, but within 15 minutes, he still wasn't out. I went to go see what was going on, and his girlfriend was extremely upset, insisting that he calls her Avalyn, our daughter's- Our- Yo, what? Insisting that he calls her Avalyn, which is our daughter's name. That was the last straw for my wife. She told her to leave. My brother's girlfriend starts straight up sobbing, using her baby voice, saying she's confused and doesn't understand why everyone is being so mean to me and calling her the wrong name. That night, my brother called and admitted that not only is one of her alters a three-year-old, but it's very specifically our three-year-old. Yo, what the f***, guys? What the f***? I try not to cuss, but what the f***? What the f*** am I reading? He said that he can't talk to her about this because when she's not her Avalyn alter, she doesn't remember anything, and when she is her Avalyn alter, she isn't rational. My wife and I told my brother that she's not allowed at family functions anymore, and she's not allowed around our kids. My wife was extremely upset, and told my brother that his girlfriend was psychotic, and that she wouldn't understand why he was still with someone like that. My brother is upset that my wife said those things about her, and said that he understands that we would be upset about her having an altar of our daughter, but that she can't help it, and we should be more understanding because it's a disorder due to childhood trauma. Did my wife handle this the right way? We know nothing about this disorder, and doing research into it, the medical definition definitely doesn't seem to match the way my brother's girlfriend is acting. To be clear, she doesn't have an official diagnosis. Apparently, it was rude of my wife and I to ask if she was getting treatment or had a diagnosis because therapy isn't available to anyone and self-diagnosis is valid. She comes from a very affluent family and definitely has the resources to get therapy and a proper diagnosis. Uh, uh, this is Anna's show, so she's always going to go first on every story. Oh, I forgot it's Anna's show. Sorry, Anna. <laughs> Um, DID is absolutely a serious condition where you have present at least one other personality separate from the, the main one that you show, um, where they have their own sometimes distinct voices, uh, memories. It, it is, yes, very plausible that while in this state, 
if this is what this girl has, the she does not remember at all. Um, I I cannot make the the whole the therapy is not available. It is. You do have to search sometimes, and this is a time where you absolutely have to go. 